Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. Day video. You see all the glares behind me? No green screen. We have the green screen, but no pictures on the green screen. So, gotta catch up. Gotta finish my cock videos. My King of the Monster videos. So, uh, this one, we're going to finish up the hindsight. Well, not finish up. We still got one more. We still got Mothra. Well, actually, two more. Mothra and the Titans. This one, we're going to do Godzilla in hindsight. Video where I talk about what I liked regarding Godzilla, what I didn't like, and what I would change. And to be quite honest, there's not really a whole lot that I would change about Godzilla in this movie. Uh, I think he looks a lot better, uh, much improved. Not to say that he didn't look good in 2014, but obviously they made some minor changes to his design that I thought were very effective. They were noticeable, but they did not infringe or take away from his uh, design in 2014. He still very much looks like he did in 2014, but those enhancements came in handy. Dorsal plates were a huge improvement, uh, much better this time around, much bigger. Uh... I don't think that, you know, when you look at the movie and when he shows up, all his battles, his interactions, you know, I'm just going to kind of be repeating some of the things I said when talking about like Rodan, for example, you know, in the Rodan video, I mentioned how it would have been nice if we had Godzilla and Rodan face each other. Uh, you can make the same argument for this video because, you know, it's Godzilla and he did not face Rodan. Uh, but I mean, outside of that, I, I was really satisfied with Godzilla in the movie <clears throat> um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot more of him in this movie, obviously, than the first one. There's really not too much I would change. I mean, I think the only thing I would maybe change is at the end, give a little bit more of a definitive indication as to whether or not he has a chance to turn heel, you know? I still thought that was pretty interesting what the uh, Chen sister said about him you know, when the guy said, you know, he's our ally and she's like, for now, I'm paraphrasing, of course. And then they show him with this mean look on his face. And then now we know that in Godzilla versus Kong, Kong is going to kind of be like the underdog. Does that mean they're going to kind of show Godzilla in an evil light? Uh, and if they did, that wouldn't bother me. We've seen that before. You know, that's how it was in the original movie. Uh, Kong was the anti-hero, so to speak. Godzilla obviously was the villain. But... You know, and even then, I, I think you don't even need a definitive answer for that. I mean, I think that, you know, uh, I think the indication was there. I mean, I picked up on it. I'm not the only one who picked up on it. But outside of that, I can honestly say that I don't think there's anything I would change about what they did with Godzilla. There's nothing that I disliked about what they did with him. I guess the only other thing I would say that I disliked, and I guess you could say I would change this, is the consistency in his roar. While I like the old school roar and the Showa roar and all that, there were a couple of spots in the movie where they used that older roar, and I just personally felt that it was out of place. Like, on one hand, I was like, oh, man, that's cool. They used it. On the other hand, I was like, ah, that doesn't really feel... Like, that just feels out of place right now. It doesn't even feel like they tried to recreate it. It feels like it was pulled right out of a Showa movie, no enhancements or anything. Because when you hear his 2014 roar, it's that heavy bass large shriek and then you hear the show of one that they slid in there a couple of times and it just is a complete difference it's, it's so dramatically different it almost makes godzilla feel smaller you know what i mean so i guess yeah you could say that was one thing that i could have done without as much as i love the original roar uh it just didn't fit with this godzilla you've already established him with this roar that's what people are used to hearing so to come out of left field with the old roar I don't know. It just kind of felt like uh, it was just out of place. It just fell out of place. But beyond that, you know, of course, I mentioned it in my Rodan video that I would have liked if him and Rodan had a throwdown. Uh, so you could, uh, I could make that argument for this one as well uh, for Godzilla. But I don't want to go into details repeating myself that because I've already mentioned that. But beyond the roar, beyond maybe fighting another uh, Titan, in particular Rodan, um, I can't say I'm disappointed too much with anything else. Even, you know, one of the things I was also going to mention when I was thinking about this video was uh, maybe kind of understanding a little bit more the relationship with Mothra and Godzilla. But even then, if that's some that's not something I could really complain about in Godzilla's terms because that's something you need to learn from the story. Obviously, they have history. Obviously, they they interacted even in this movie to a certain extent. So that's something that I would say about the story that I would like to understand more. 
Uh, again, this this is all could be in the reading material. I have not read that stuff yet. I know a lot of you guys have. So, but um, but otherwise, I think Godzilla was fine in this movie. You know, we got to see a little bit more of him than we did in the first movie. We got to see you know uh, a lot more fighting. Not only you know with him and Ghidorah, they had like three rounds, of course. And uh, I thought he was perfect. The roar was perfect. The dorsal plates were perfect. You know, we got to see a lot more of his atomic breath, and we got to see. A little bit more ad agility in this Godzilla, which I thought was interesting. But otherwise, I think I'm good. I think I'm good with the way Godzilla was uh, represented in this movie. And I don't think I would change much else outside of that moment with the roar and possibly fighting Rodan. But otherwise, I'm very satisfied with Godzilla and King of the Monsters. What about you guys? Is there anything that you would change or something you didn't like about Godzilla in this movie? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button to help support ETN. And if you also are already subscribed and you want to help, definitely like and share this video. It goes a long way to helping the channel. So I'd appreciate that. Until next video, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make, make sure, sure to, to click, click that, that subscribe button for regular content. content.